I think that, uh, that it was an excellent opener for us. I think that Manhattan has a good team. They're well coached. They play physical. Um, they, they do a good job of sharing the ball. Um, they're aggressive. They've got guys in the lane that are, that are big and strong. And I thought it was, a, it was a great opportunity for us to step out there and show that we can handle that stuff and compete with big physical guys and then do a good job offensively of, of being smart, um, for the most part, getting good shots. But I think really what it came down to is we, we guarded them today. We have 12 healthy guys that are all good players. Um, and they compete every day. And I feel like they've earned the right to have the opportunity to play. Also, with the style we're going to play and the pace we're going to play, it's hard. I think if you ask these guys, after they play six or seven minutes, they're pretty tired. <laughs> so um, between that, between, let's be honest, we have some younger guys haven't played a lot. So we're trying to mix and match to keep some experience. The guys have been out there around a little bit and, and balance it out that way. Um, but we have confidence in everyone that's going in that they can do the job. I thought you saw that at first there might have been some nerves with some young guys, but you look at like, like Nate here, he got better and better and better as it went on, and that's what we expect going forward. We have a, we have a deep bench. We're going to use it. Um, I'm not afraid to put different guys in there, and, and they're going to keep battling, competing every day, and, and we'll see where it leads us. So I think once we uh, saw the spots that were opening, um, me and Steve mainly played at the top, so I just uh, I could see over most of their guards because of my height. So I just uh, stayed on the perimeter, attacked when I could, and either uh, made the right read. I'd just either s scored it if I could, or if somebody stepped up, I tried to do my best to dump it off to Nate, Nana, and then our shooters on the perimeter as best as yeah. I could. So. I've never missed a game like in my entire life from fourth grade up till senior year. So getting my season cut short kind of kind of stunk. But uh, I had great teammates last year, and I have great teammates this year that they stayed with me. They were always motivational and stuff like that. So like when I came back in April, and I was able to start working out again, especially with Zach. Uh, he helped me out a lot, just working on certain moves, like shooting off the shooting off the dribble, stuff like that. So uh, today was kind of bittersweet being able to play with my team again. Um, watching them practice last year really really hurt, not being able to be out there and help them. So uh, today today was really bittersweet, and like like Coach said, being under the game lights for the first time. I mean, the first 30 seconds I was in the game, I think I had caught in mouth. So I was, I hadn't even done anything yet. But um, no, like I, my my role on the team, like I'm not going to look to score right away. I'm going to try to get everybody open. I'm going to try to do things like he said, seal so Steve can get a layup or seal so Zach can get a layup. And if it happens to come to me, then I'm going to do my best to put the ball in the hoop. We have a, a good balanced offensive team. We've got uh, multiple guys that we can throw it into the post. We've got multiple guys that can step out and make shots. We've got multiple guys that can put it on the floor. And, and make plays off the dribble, and then they all can pass. And so as long as we're uh, reading the game right, playing together, sharing the ball, we're going to get good shots. And one day, like today, Zach got 23. Tomorrow it might be uh, – Nate might get 20. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll just kind of play the game as, as it goes. And as long as we're getting guys the shots where they can make them, we don't care who shoots.